strong. Hi everybody, Miss Cleo's here. Are you ready to get started? Let's get started. So hello everyone, Miss Cleo here. So our lesson this week is Abraham offers Isaac from the book of Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 through 19. So I'm going to send you over to Miss Latoya for our memory verse and prayer and I'll see you right back here. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for our memory verse. Hey. So this week I'm super excited. We're in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 17. But first I have a vocab word for you. Our vocab word this week is offered. That means to give something up. So maybe you have a sibling or a cousin or a friend and you want to give them something. You want to offer up your dial to them. That's offered. Let's get into our verse. It reads, by faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. That is our verse this week. We're in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 17. See you next week for a verse and some vocab words. Bye. All right, guys, let's do our prayer to start our lesson. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for another Sunday to hear your word. Thank you for Miss Cleo for sharing the word. Praying for our children. Allow them to share something they learned today with someone else. We thank you in advance for all the blessings, healings. Amen. Back to Miss Cleo for our lesson for today. So welcome back, everyone. So as I said, our story this week is Abraham offers Isaac. And it's from Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 through 19. Now last week, we learned a little bit more about Isaac. So let me just ask, how old was Abraham when Isaac was born? Abraham was 100 years old. And how about Sarah? How old is she? Sarah was 90 years old. Does anybody remember what the promise was that God told Abraham? God's promise was that he would give Abraham an heir, and from that heir, he would have a great nation. Now this week, we're going to see where Abraham gives the Lord the most precious thing he has, and that is his son Isaac. And we're going to see how God provides a sacrifice and we're going to see a beautiful picture of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sometimes the Lord asks us to do difficult things, really hard things. And we reveal to God from our hearts whether or not we are obedient. God is going to ask Abraham to do a difficult thing. And he is going to be obedient. And he has decided that he is going to trust the Lord no matter the cost. And it's really something that we can learn from him. Also, we are going to learn that if we surrender everything over to the Lord and just let him provide, that's our theme. Faith, surrender all, and let the Lord provide. Okay, now I'm going to be reading from The Bible Made Easy for Kids by Dave Strayler. And this is titled, Abraham's Faith is Tested. When Abraham was 100 years old, his wife Sarah had a baby boy just as God had promised. They called him Isaac. Some years later, God tested Abraham's faith by telling him to do a very hard thing. 
Abraham was to take Isaac to the land of Moriah and sacrifice him there on top of a mountain that the Lord would show him. Now let's stop right there. Sacrifice. During the Old Testament time, sacrifice was when a person took an animal and they would shed the animal's blood as a form of worship to God to cover their sins. The Lord has just told Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac. Wow. What do you think he's going to do? We'll see. Abraham and Sarah waited a long time to have a child. Isaac now, at this time, is no longer a child. He has grown up and he is in his 20s. And now the Lord has just told Abraham he wants him to sacrifice his son to him. Let's read on. Abraham obeyed God and early the next morning he saddled his donkey and set off with Isaac and two servants. On the third day when Abraham came near to the place he said to his servants stay here while I and the boy go and worship then we will come back. So Isaac is not a child. Isaac is going up to this mountain with his father Abraham and Abraham is going to offer him up to the Lord. He's trusting. And the reason I say that because you know what he just said to his servants? He said I and the boy will come back. He's trusting. Let's read on. Now Isaac at this time is a young adult. He is not married and he doesn't have any children. Isaac and his father are now going up to make an altar to the Lord. Let's read on. While they were walking together, Isaac said to his father, We have fire and wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide a lamb. When they reached the place that God showed them, Abraham built an altar and stacked the wood on top. Then he tied up Isaac and laid him on the altar. As Abraham reached for his knife, the angel of the Lord called to him, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Do not harm the boy. Now I know that you honor and obey God. Abraham was obedient to God. He was going to offer up his one and only son. And he was believing that God would probably raise him from the dead if he killed him. But the angel stopped him and told him, Abraham, I see now that you truly do love the Lord and you truly are obedient. And we also see out of Isaac, he too was obedient. He let his father tie him up and laid him on the wood. He did not fight his father. Both of them were obedient. Now, God had made a promise, right? He had made a promise to Abraham that a great nation would come from him. He knew God was going to keep his promise, but God wanted to see if Abraham would put Isaac above him. And Abraham showed God he did not. He showed God that God, you are first. Let's read on. When Abraham looked up, he saw a ram caught in a bush by its horns. So he took it and sacrificed the ram to God. So the ram took the place of his son, and Abraham called the place 
the Lord will provide. So we see Abraham was obedient. God provided a sacrifice. A ram was in the bush. And we see also a beautiful picture of Jesus Christ. God the Father sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins and to die for my sins. So we no longer now have to do burnt offerings with animals. Jesus Christ died for Ms. Cleo's sins and your sins. And God showed his love for his son, Jesus, and allowing him to die for us. Well, that's the end of our story for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next week. Well, everyone, that's it for today. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. You strong. You strong.